Hey everyone, welcome to a new vlog. It's actually a really beautiful day outside today, so I was thinking of taking a blanket and a book and maybe an iced coffee and going to sit in my backyard. And because I hate a tan line, we're wearing this tank top with the, <laughs> with the little straps pulled down and we are just gonna go hang out. I think I'm going to bring the do-over with me outside and maybe I'll read some of that. Maybe I'll read some of my audiobook. I'm not really sure. We're just gonna go read this book outside, enjoy the sunshine and the beautiful weather and hope that it doesn't get cloudy in the next like half hour. A heart speed to the city streets. We begin to feel the fire. We rise like tall buildings as the chemicals that take us higher. The night's young. Got everything set up. Have my iced coffee and I have my book and it's such a beautiful day outside. I kind of had to kick the dogs out of the backyard because they were just barking like insanely and that just <laughs> really angers me to no end um, <laughs> because I'm sure that it's bugging literally everybody in the neighborhood so I tried to not let my dogs bark outside too much. Gorgeous day today, beautiful, sunny. Um, and hopefully I can have a little bit of like a relaxing afternoon in the sunshine. Also this cup is from Target, super cute. Um, I will say that even though it's like really thick glass, it does not keep drinks very cold. I don't know why, it's so weird. Yeah, we're just gonna sit out here and relax and enjoy the sunshine and probably play some music as well. We're gonna do it all again. So for some reason while I was filming this clip, the audio didn't really record very well, but I was trying to tell you guys about the outfit that I was wearing to the gym. And so this top is like a built-in bra workout top situation. I got it from Old Navy and then the bottoms are from Fabletics from a while ago. And yeah, that's my little outfit and I think I'm going to put something over it. Yep. Here is a little workout sweatshirt from Target that I love to wear and I think it's super cute. And we went to Planet and worked out. Okay, so it's really funny because it's been so quiet out on the street literally all day. And then the very second that I pull out my camera and start recording, five cars go by. Uh, what? Why is that happening? Like, why is that a thing? I feel like they know when I'm about to press record. I'm like, oh, it's been really quiet. You know, no cars have really been going by. Nobody's been really loud outside. And then suddenly it's like, what is going on? Okay, so it is Friday and we are just chilling out. I have already had breakfast. I had like two cups of coffee. I'm on my third, don't tell anybody. But this one is iced, so I always feel like it's a little bit different than my two cups of like hot coffee. And currently I am washing my sheets and my bedding. So I'm sitting on a naked bed right now, <laughs> which I hate doing. But I'm like, where else am I gonna sit in my room? But yeah, um, yesterday I ended up reading about, let's see, 40 pages in to The Do-Over by Suzanne Park. And I am really loving it. Like it is the genuine, real definition of a rom-com, which I love. I love that because I feel like too often in the romance genre, books will be categorized or like promoted as a rom-com but they're not funny and so i'm like where's the calm i see the rom but i don't see the calm this book has actually genuinely made me laugh out loud like multiple times so i'm loving it i definitely want to read more of it especially this weekend so yes iconic and look at this cover it's just so beautiful so yeah i think while i wait for my bedding to dry i'm going to enjoy my coffee and read some more of this book and also listen to there's new maggie rogers there's new hosier there's new olivia rodrigo there's um 
I've been really enjoying the new Casey Musgraves album, so we have a lot of new music to enjoy and listen to. I feel like we're just gonna, you know, hang out, read a little bit of my book, and I will update you guys if anything exciting or good happens. So a little update. Uh, finished my laundry, closed my uh, closet door. You can still hear my dad. He's watching basketball. It's March Madness. Um, <laughs> and my room is finally like totally clean. I did my uh, bedding. It's all here. We got my little angel bear right here. He's my buddy. Um, huge angel fan. <laughs> and so everything is nice and clean. Have my book have my headphones and then I think I'm going to go to Planet Fitness later so I did think it was going to be a rest day but then my mom was like hey do you want to go with me and I'm like okay fine so yeah I probably will change before I go to Planet Fitness I don't think I'm going to wear my Taylor <laughs> sweatshirt but yeah we'll see what I end up putting on and I will update you guys and maybe even bring you along to Planet Fitness. I've been really enjoying going. It's been so much fun. I have a great time every time I go and yeah. A heart speed to the city streets We begin to feel the fire We rise like tall buildings it's so funny how cool toned my uh, room gets when I turn off my overhead light. So I am ready for the day, kind of. Um, I think we're gonna go to the gym. I'm not sure, we'll see. But I just realized in the last couple of clips, I have not talked about one of the books that I'm currently reading, which is so weird. I don't know why it slipped my mind, but I'm currently well over halfway through Sing Me to Sleep by Gabby Burton. And this is like a YA fantasy book and it follows a siren and in this world sirens are really hated and they're heavily persecuted and so she kind of has to live as like as if she's not a siren um, which is really difficult because basically <laughs> it's kind of like in her nature to want to kill so it's really difficult and then she ends up becoming the like guard for the prince which ends up kind of bringing up a lot of you know obvious issues there so far i feel like in the very beginning i it had a lot of promise and i was like really excited about this book because especially within the first chapter i thought the writing style was absolutely beautiful and it kind of carried over for like most of the first half of the book but i felt like by the time we got to the middle point and then beyond I feel like the writing style kind of got a little too relaxed like it was almost like the author put all of her energy into the writing style in the first like 40 50 percent of the book and then hit the middle point and just kind of not necessarily got lazy but just like stopped caring about her creative voice and the writing style it was just so weird because like <laughs> the reason I was really enjoying this book and I was like oh finally you know like a, a fantasy that I'm not gonna DNF um, was because I felt like a I really enjoyed the fact that she was not info dumping like immediately off the bat which was really nice and very refreshing um, and then B I really enjoyed the writing style I liked how flowery the language was and how descriptive it was and how lyrical it sounded but I feel like now at this point I think I'm probably about like 60 70 percent of the way through that's gone like it's just it's like completely a different sound and voice it's very simplistic it's very like matter of fact not super descriptive language anymore i'm not getting a lot of that like sensory details it's very strange i don't know what's going on um it's making me not really enjoy the book anymore which is a little bit of a bummer because like i said i was really excited to find a y fantasy book that i was enjoying but yeah the inconsistencies with the writing style is just really throwing me off so we'll see how it goes but I doubt that if this is a series I will be continuing with the next one because um <laughs> not for me so I got ready wearing my 49ers sweatshirt as per usual and I decided to do my hair in two little braids and my white headband 
um, Ana Luisa necklace. <laughs> Love Ana Luisa, seriously. And then just a pair of leggings, just plain black leggings, nothing super exciting. But I really, really need a coffee, like genuinely so bad, I need a freaking coffee. But yeah, those are all the updates. Um, I don't know what else we're gonna do today, but yeah, I just, I really need to go get a coffee immediately. So my little brother and I ended up spending the day together and we went to his favorite record shop and he ended up picking out I believe an Aerosmith record and we had a lot of fun together and I didn't really buy anything because I don't have a record player right now and I just don't really need any of them but I like this little store it's really fun and we ended up just walking around a little bit hanging out enjoying the really nice weather because literally maybe a week later it would start raining insanely so we ended up also getting some frozen yogurt which we haven't gotten in like forever but i was really craving it and it was delicious it was iconic it's my birthday today and i just got done getting ready i didn't really do anything too crazy to my hair but it is looking so long look at that jeez wow but today I am 29. 29. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Schmidt. I'm 29, folks. What's up? 29? We're just gonna go have some fun. I might try to vlog a little bit. Um, I probably should have closed my door because <laughs> we're having a little like a junior Seiya moment. So yeah, if you're wondering what this is in the background, it's a huge giant poster of the football player, the late football player, RIP, Junior Seau. So, <laughs> um, yeah, we're big football people in this household. Anyway, we're just gonna go have some fun and I will take you guys along. My outfit, I'm wearing this uh, sweater that I got from the thrift store. I actually don't remember what the brand is. I don't even know if it has a brand. It could be like some sort of J. Crew brand, I'm not sure. And then underneath that, <laughs> I'm wearing a workout uh, dress from Old Navy. I was like, I just want something like casual and comfy and not too like dressy. So I decided on this outfit and it's also like a really nice day outside, but it's not like super hot. So I feel like I can get away with a little bit of like a layering moment. So yeah, that is the entire look. I also did my nails last night and I'm wearing my Ana Luisa jewelry as per usual. Um, Ana Luisa necklace, Ana Luisa rings. I wear these literally all the time. Also, Ana Luisa earrings as well. <laughs> Um, I'm an Ana Luisa girly. I do feel like my makeup is a little bit pale. Like, are we... Yeah, it is a little bit pale. I might put a little bit of more bronzer on, but yeah, that's like the entire look. And I'm gonna bring you guys along. I'm so excited. Also, before I go, I am still reading Sing Me to Sleep. And it went through a little bit of a lull. I'm not gonna lie, but it is a lot better now. So that's good. So for my birthday, we ended up going to downtown Ventura, which is quite a ways away from where I live, but we love going because they have great thrift stores and a lot of fun stuff to do. And so I ended up going to Brooklyn Charm, which is basically this really cute little jewelry store, and I was able to make my own charm necklace and it's so cute and I love it so much but yeah we walked around went to some thrift stores ended up going to the cheesecake factory for lunch slash dinner and it was so good as per usual and then we ended up going to Barnes and Noble kind of rounding out the day with some book shopping and I love this particular Barnes and Noble because it is literally so big Also died laughing a little bit at this display because um, why is this book here? It's so ironic. That author is like an anti swifty They literally don't like Taylor Swift. And it's so funny. It's just so ironic. Anyway. Picked out some different books. I ended up only getting one of the books that I'm showing you guys, which is the last one. And yeah, just had a really great time at Barnes & Noble. 
so much fun and then we came home and ate the cake that i made the day before and it's so cute i love it so i just got done cleaning up my room i made my bed as you can see and i had so many clothes on the ground it was kind of grossing me out so i finally got the energy up to actually give my room like a little bit of a clean up um i made myself another cup of coffee and my literal favorite mug that i got from walmart like I want to say like two months ago um, or maybe it was a month ago I think it was in February because I think that this is like one of their Valentine's Day mugs <laughs> so I don't think they have them anymore they might I don't know I figured I would end the vlog here because I've already done like I totally forgot that I vlogged when I went outside when it was really nice and it did almost sort of like a picnic in my backyard. So we did that and I was reading The Do-Over by Suzanne Park, which I am actually currently, I think about a hundred pages into and I am loving it so, so much. This is sort of like a second chance romance between these two adults, obviously, who knew each other when they were in college and they actually dated in college, but then through circumstances, they end up running into each other about like 10, 11 years later because the main character, she has to go back to college and finish up her credits. She thought that she graduated, but she actually didn't. And so um, they end up meeting because she is taking some sort of math class and he is the teacher's aide. Things start to ensue. It's really, really funny. This is like the epitome of a rom-com book. You know how sometimes like a romance will be sort of like categorized or marketed as like a rom-com and then it ends up not even being funny? This is the book that is actually funny. Like there are so many moments when I'm reading this book where I am legitimately laughing out loud and like having to stop reading just so I can laugh. This main character, I don't know, there's something about her, like her humor is so me. And so I really enjoy it. Um, I think I'm definitely gonna finish this super soon because I am reading this really, really quickly. I definitely want to read more books physically. So hopefully we can finish this up. I did end up finishing Sing Me to Sleep, which I ended up giving four out of five stars. It was really good in the beginning. And then I think I updated a while ago and was like, ooh, the middle is a little iffy for me but then it really picked up towards the end. And then like the very last chapter just blew my mind and it was such like a twist ending that I ended up loving it. I ended up really enjoying it. It's not like one of my new favorites. I like, it's not a five star rating, but for me, I actually did really enjoy it. And I thought it did something really, really interesting towards the end. So definitely check it out if you're interested in reading it. I think it's well worth the read. I was really impressed by the writing style throughout most of the book. I will say that I feel like the author sort of lost her voice a little bit there throughout the middle but she definitely picked it back up towards the end and I think that it's a really really great debut fantasy novel and it definitely has sort of like a grumpy sunshine aspect to it which I really appreciated and really loved. Um, the main character she's like a siren and she's definitely like the grumpy type and then her love interest is a prince and he's definitely more of a sunshine type and it's really cute. I think it's a really fun YA fantasy and like I said crazy twist ending that I really really enjoyed and I think it is kind of different than a lot of the other YA fantasies that I've read at least in the last couple of years. I was trying to remember what else I've been reading lately and I went to Barnes and Noble and I was actually going to buy this book but because it wasn't part of like the buy one get one 50% off deal that they always have I decided not to pick it up and that is One for Your Enemy by Olive Blake and I am loving it so much. I'm so obsessed. I almost wish that I had picked it up physically because I, that's how much I'm loving it. It's sort of a very loose Romeo and Juliet retelling. It has a little bit of like everything in it. It has a little bit of Hamlet in it as well and it's just so so good. Um, I feel like there are some issues with like world building and like the magical system in this book I think it's a little shaky but it makes up for it in characterization and like all of these sort of like family politics and as you know I am a Shakespeare girly at heart I love Shakespeare Romeo and Juliet was the first Shakespeare play I ever read when I was in fifth grade and I loved it it just sparked my love for Shakespeare and um I will always eat up a Romeo and Juliet retelling. 
but yeah I think those are all the books that I'm currently reading or that I have read recently and then I should talk about the two books that I got from Barnes & Noble so obviously it was my birthday and I ended up picking up two books from Barnes & Noble the first one that I actually like automatically picked up was The Stardust Thief by Chelsea Abdullah and I haven't really heard very many opinions or like anybody talking about this book. I'm sure that a lot of people have because it seemed pretty popular when I looked it up on Goodreads. But for some reason, the people that I follow have not been talking about this book, so not sure why that is. But this looked really, really interesting and it was part of the buy one, get one 50% off deal. And I also obviously had to read the first page just to make sure I liked it and I did, so I picked it up and I love this cover. Then I was trying to find another book that was part of the deal and I was kind of having a little bit of trouble but then I finally came across this book and it sounded really interesting and that is The Lost Bookshop by Evie Woods. This one seems really interesting as well. Love the cover, love the idea of it. On the back it says, when a vanishing bookshop casts its spell, these three unsuspecting strangers will discover that their own stories are every bit as extraordinary as the ones found in the pages of their beloved books. So intriguing. I read the first page, really enjoyed it. So definitely excited to pick up those two books. And then I have to say thank you to Henry Holt and Macmillan because they sent me The Wedding People by Allison Espatch. This is an arc of this book and it sounds really really interesting i love the cover and i think that this will be a lot of fun to read during the spring and summer so super excited to pick this one up it says a propulsive and uncommonly wise novel about one unexpected wedding guest and the surprising people who help her start anew so definitely excited to pick this one up and yeah i feel like that's everything i have to talk about i feel like that's the perfect way to end this vlog i hope you all enjoyed watching this reading vlog and coming along with me for my birthday um i really appreciate all of the lovely lovely birthday sentiments that you all sent me it really means a lot to me and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this reading vlog and if you did go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel also go ahead and follow me on instagram twitter goodreads storygraph tiktok all the links are down below and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!